We set out from the Big Sandy Trailhead on a six-day loop that would include Texas Pass, Jackass Pass, and the iconic Cirque of Towers. This was my second trip into the winds, and I was skeptical it would be as beautiful as my first trip to Tikkom Basin. This trip was even more beautiful. We have found home for tonight here at Dad's Lake and what a gorgeous view. Today's been a gorgeous day, period. And once we broke out of the forest and saw those amazing views of the peaks, that is what you come to expect from the winds. It's not like uh, as dramatic as being at an island lake, being up high, looking down on the lake, and those big peaks in the background, but it's pretty damn nice, isn't it? Absolutely. It doesn't have a major metropolitan area. Right. That can attract a lot of workers. Hmm. I love Mexican food, so if it's good, it'd be a good new one to get. Day two, we would join back up with the Continental Divide Trail before veering off to an unofficial trail through the Waukesha drainage, edging ever closer into Alpine territory.
This is home for the night, and this is definitely up there with one of the most spectacular views I've ever had at a campsite. Today we followed the CDT to the Washakie drainage, and we are somewhere along the Washakie drainage just below Shadow Lake. Tomorrow, it looks like we'll be going over Texas Pass. This is stunning. I uh, feel very lucky and fortunate to be sleeping here tonight and waking up here in the morning. Good morning. It is day three here in the Wind River Range, and today we will be traversing Texas Pass, which is somewhere over my right shoulder and around the corner. Behind me, you are seeing the back of the Cirque of Towers, and today we will get to see the front. I'm very excited.
right now is the moment we traverse uh, Texas Pass. It's right in front of me where you see that V, and uh, Brian just said it's the steepest, most treacherous pass of the trip, so uh, here we go. Not sure if you can see, but about halfway down the screen, there's some people coming down. Should give you some perspective. Although the day was small in terms of miles, it was big on energy expenditure. We made camp at Lonesome Lake and called it an early night. Good morning, it is day four. Texas Pass, what can I say about Texas Pass? It's definitely the burliest pass that I have ever traversed. It's not an official trail, so what little trailer is, is covered in gravel. It's a very slippery, steep slope. It's more of a boulder scramble to the top. You really have to concentrate and watch your footing. Once we got to the top, it, a cell moved over and we got a lot of very powerful wind and some rain. It was really cold. There was a small snow field we had to traverse. And then on the other side of that, it was actually really mellow, beautiful, pretty meadow. However, when we got to just above this lake, the top of this lake, we had to drop down to the lake, which was a very long, steep drop. So yesterday was by far the most challenging day of the trip. When we got to camp, I was pretty beat. So we just uh, kind of set up camp, ate dinner, and went to bed pretty early actually. Today we have another pass to traverse. It's Jackass Pass, but it is an official trail, so it shouldn't be as gnarly. It is a beautiful day. The storms do kind of come through, but they move through pretty quickly. Uh, we're expecting good weather. It's absolutely gorgeous here, gorgeous view this morning, and an amazing place to wake up. Never heard of wonky? Is that a Southern California word there? Maybe. 
I don't know. And there is Texas Pass. That's where we came from yesterday. This is going to be home right above Big Sandy Lake. There aren't really any views here at camp, but that's okay because the views were nonstop today. It is absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful here. The section between Texas Pass and after Jackass Pass until you get to the trail here that leads right down to the lake is fairly challenging, but it is definitely worth it for the beauty that you get to see out here. Day five. We could have easily hiked back to the trailhead this day as we were ahead of schedule, but opted to avoid the return to civilization for one more day.
thunder. Well, I am here at uh, my final home, our final home of the trip at Diamond Lake. And today was just a very nice, cruisy, mellow day. It's going to be a lovely last evening here uh, by the lake. And tomorrow's just gonna be a real quick hike out. So yeah, just going to get some dinner going real soon and call it a night. Good morning, it is day six. It's another beautiful morning in the Wind River Range. And today we have just a quick, about three and a half mile hike out of here. Another amazing trip in the winds has come to an end. It has come to be a mountain range I consider to be among the most beautiful on earth. Until we meet again. <laughs>